Optical instruments like telescope and microscope have revolutionized the fields of astronomy, biology, medicine, etc. It all started with the humble burning glass that was used to produce fire in ancient times. Burning glass is nothing but a magnifying lens. A magnifying lens serves as a tool to start fire as well as to magnify tiny objects. Optical instruments mostly consist of a complex arrangement of lenses. Let's study spherical lenses in detail. A spherical lens is a transparent object with one or two curved surfaces. Spherical lenses are of two types, convex and concave. Biconvex are just convex lenses that have two convex surfaces, and biconcaves or just concave lenses have two concave surfaces. In plano convex and plano concave lenses, one surface is plane and the other is convex or concave. Convexo concave and concavo convex lenses both have a convex surface and a concave surface and differ only in their shape and action. Convex lenses are thicker at the center and thinner at the edges while concave lenses are thicker at the edges and thinner at the center. Let us study refraction by convex and concave lenses in detail. For this, we have to first acquaint ourselves with some technical terms related to spherical lenses and the rules and sign conventions used for drawing ray diagrams. Each surface of a lens is a part of a sphere. The center of the sphere is called the center of curvature of the respective surface. The radius of the sphere is known as the radius of curvature of the respective lens surface. The line joining the two centers of curvature of a lens is called the principal axis. The point at which the principal axis passes through the center of the lens is called the optical center of the lens. The point at which rays parallel to principal axis converge after refraction from the convex lens is called the principal focus of the convex lens. A lens has two foci, one on each side. They are labeled F1 and F2. The point from which rays parallel to principal axis appear to diverge after refraction from the concave lens is called the principal focus of the concave lens. A lens has two foci, one on each side. They are labeled F1 and F2. The distance between the optical center and the principal focus is called the focal length of the lens. The radius of the curvature of a lens is twice the focal length. A parallel beam of light traveling along the direction of the principal axis after refraction through a convex lens converges to a point. Hence, convex lenses are called converging or positive lenses. On the other hand, a parallel beam of light traveling along the direction of the principal axis diverges after refraction through a concave lens and the rays appear to come from a single point on the principal axis called the principal focus. Hence, concave lenses are called diverging or negative lenses. A ray of light parallel to the principal axis after refraction through a convex lens passes through the principal focus on the other side of the lens. 
In the case of a concave lens, the ray appears to diverge from the principal focus on the same side of lens. A ray passing through the principal focus of a convex lens after refraction emerges parallel to the principal axis. In the case of a concave lens, a ray traveling towards the principal focus after refraction emerges parallel to the principal axis. A ray of light passing through the optical center of a thin lens passes undeviated. The sign conventions followed for lenses are the new Cartesian sign convention with optical center as the origin. Thus, for spherical lenses, U is always positive. F is positive for convex lenses. F is negative for concave lenses. V is positive for real images and negative for virtual images. When the object is at infinity, the incident rays are parallel to each other. These rays after refraction through a convex lens converge at the principal focus and form a point image. If these rays are incident obliquely, they converge at the focal plane to form a real, inverted, and extremely diminished image. This principle is applied for producing fire using burning glasses or magnifying lenses. The convex lens focuses the parallel rays of the sun at the focal point. The converged rays produce a large amount of heat and thereby start fire. How can you produce fire using ice? Well, it's simple. Shape a clear ice block to a convex lens. and use it to focus sun rays and thus produce fire. When the object is beyond 2F1, a real, inverted and diminished image is formed between F2 and 2F2. When the object is at 2F1, a real, inverted image is formed at 2F2. This image is of the same size as the object. When the object is between F1 and 2F1, a real, inverted and magnified image is formed beyond 2F2. When the object is at F1, a real, inverted and highly magnified image is formed at infinity. When the object is between F1 and O, a virtual, erect and magnified image is formed on the same side of the lens as the object. What is the position and nature of the image formed when an object is placed at a distance of 120 cm from a converging lens of focal length 50 cm? As the object is beyond 2F, a real, inverted and diminished image is formed between 50 and 100 centimeters away on the other side of the lens. When the object is at infinity, the rays diverge after refraction through the concave lens. These rays appear to diverge from the principal focus. Thus, a virtual, erect and highly diminished images formed. When the object is between infinity and the optical center, a virtual, erect and diminished image is formed between F1 and O on the same side of the lens. Spherical lenses are transparent objects with one or two curved surfaces. 
Spherical lenses are of the following types. Spherical lenses form real or virtual images. Every lens has two principal foci, where all the light rays directed at that lens converge or diverge. The distance between the optical center and principal focus is called the focal length. The radius of curvature of a lens is twice the focal length. For spherical lenses, U is always positive. F is positive for convex lenses and negative for concave lenses. V is positive for real images and negative for virtual images. Convex lenses always form real, inverted and diminished images, except when the object is between F1 and O, in which case a virtual, erect and magnified image is formed. Concave lenses always form virtual, erect and diminished images, irrespective of the position of the object.